In this video, I'm going to show you uh, why and how I'm going to install the uh, 521 capacitor saver. Uh, the brand is 521. Um, one of the thing, main things here is, is this is what you call a hard start capacitor. Uh, this basically causes an increase in phase angle of the AC current between the start and run winding that helps to create a greater torque, starting torque that's needed to uh, start the air compressor. Uh, that extra torque uh, helps with the compressor life based off of the stuff that I've seen and read online. Uh, basically there are two brands uh, that uh, you want to stick with and the reason why is um, is what online you'll see people say stay away from the two wire you want to go with the three wire. That's not the main thing that you're looking for. The main thing you're looking for is the hard start capacitor that you're adding should have a potential relay. It's this relay switch right here um, because a potential relay powers the capacitor, um, adds it in line with the circuit and removes itself using the relay as opposed to a thermal bridging. So um, basically what we want to do is, is we want to use a hard start uh, that has basically a potential relay and there's two brands out there that have this it is the 521 and a kickstart um, my AC is a 4 ton so you want to make sure that you do get uh, the uh, relay that's rated for your air conditioning so this one's rated for 3 to 5 ton 3.5 to 5 ton and so um, the uh, model number that you want to get for the 4 ton would be the CSR U2 model that's uh, good for three and a half to five ton or you get the kickstart brand the KS1 model number 96506 the company is Rector Seal who makes this and this is also for a air conditioning system that is three and a half to five ton the kickstart is a two wire the uh, hard start uh, the um, the 521 brand is a three wire so the issue is, once again, that you're not looking for a two wire or a three wire, but you're looking for a hard start capacitor system that actually has a potential relay. So as long as it has a potential relay, whether it's two wire or three wire, it does not make a difference. So with this quick brief uh, introduction, I'm just gonna show you the next steps uh, in getting this thing installed. Um, <clears throat> so first thing is you wanna be able to remove the uh, panel uh, where you can access the area that you're going to install this. Uh, after that, you want to make sure you go to your switch and disconnect your AC uh, so that you don't have any high voltage going to the unit. Uh, once you've done that, uh, you want to go ahead and short out the terminals at the capacitor so that there is no voltage in there. Um, so what you do is, is you use a screwdriver and I'll uh, show that to you in a moment here. I wanted to show you what the air conditioning sounds like uh, before we add the uh, uh, the hard start capacitor. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start the air conditioning. The installation of this um, uh, unit is pretty simple. I mean, there's two, they give you that gram. This is a two-pole two capacitor, or if you have a three-pole. Uh, what we have is a dual-run capacitor, I mean. Uh, it's basically, um, from here, you can see that the uh, potential relay needs to be installed with the nib on top. And you can see this right here. The nib needs to be up when we install it on the air conditioning unit. Uh, this is extremely important because the circuit relies on gravity to, uh, can't remember, to either start or end the, uh, the cycle. So if you were to install it sideways, then this relay would stay closed and this, the, um, this capacitor will stay in the circuit. And what if it stays in the circuit, then what's going to end up happening is, is that you're going to end up burning your air conditioning compressor. So, extremely important. This needs to be installed 
the way it's shown. Typically the uh, potential relay has a marking on the side that tells you up, but this particular uh, one does not show that, so look at the paper and make sure you follow the instructions. Um, so the black wire is going to go to the common on the uh, uh, on the air conditioning and I'll show that to you uh, when I install it. The terminal number two, which is the yellow stripped wire, will go to the Herm terminal on the uh, dual uh, run capacitor that's installed in the air conditioning currently. And the uh, terminal one, which is the red wire, it will go to the common uh, terminal on the run capacitor. So just want to make sure that um, we wire this accordingly. So let me get this um, installed uh, and then I'll show you what it looks like. So what we have here is two screws that came with the with this uh, system. So one screw will go through there and then we will use this zip tie to tie it to the capacitor. And then there is another screw right here. Uh, sorry, another screw that goes into this hole and uh, I'll get this mounted. So once I get this mounted, I will show you what it looks like on the air conditioning unit. Okay, so um, here you can see the, uh, the hard start installed. The, the, uh, the potential relay is installed in the vertical position with the nib on top. Uh, the screws that come with it are self-tapping screws, so at high speeds it'll drill through the, uh, the sheet metal that's here. You could use the holes, but I didn't end up using any of the holes, so I had to create new holes to install it. This unit here, you basically uh, put the zip tie around and then you install the screw from above. And as you can see, the best way to install it is horizontal, uh, then it kind of hangs evenly. If you stand it vertical, then the unit, uh, the capacitor hangs on an angle just because of how the uh, the weight of the, uh, the capacitor will end up uh, bending about the location that it's tied to in on the unit. So horizontally, it's stable. Um, I would just install it horizontally. Um, as you can see, the yellow wire is coming to the Herm terminal. I've got the red wire connected to the common terminal. And then the black wire is connected to the black side of the power side of the uh, uh, of the uh, connector. So uh, this is where the leads are down here for the 220 that comes into the system. So you are going to install the black wire on the black side. Uh, that's basically it. So with the hard start installed, uh, I'm going to show you what the air conditioning sounds like uh, when it starts up now. So I don't think I notice a difference between the start uh, of the capacitor after adding the new uh, hard start capacitor in there. Um, generally people install these things when the air conditioning uh, compressor is having problems starting up. So in other words, I guess the compressor must have weakened up uh, and the extra boost is needed to start it up. So <clears throat> the thing that I would... Uh, say here is by having it installed now it might be beneficial to help keep the compressor from stressing out at startup 